Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be discussing about how to clear your mind the old-fashioned way. So I feel like you know these times are hard. Like there's so many things that are pressuring us in life. You know, we have so many challenges right now, especially to do with the economy. Things are so hard. Um, things are so expensive. Like even buying food, it's really really expensive. So I feel like so many people are struggling with. Um, a lot of mind is it mind clogged like you just you know your mind is just foggy you just feel so stressed day in day out like it's, it's been really hard on people and and it's not even like it's like affecting everyone so as in there's no person who's told me like they have it easy or maybe they do i don't know but i feel like so many people are struggling and just getting by so i just decided to share with you this video that i thought will just help you and equip you on how to just be able to just process everything that is going on so number one as usual i just love talking to god so make sure you talk to god and spend time with god like just pray seek his guidance um just talk to him tell him your fears tell him your worries surrender everything unto him he's the only one who can really listen to you he's the only one who can um give you comfort he's the only one who can just um be like that you know soulless that place you need soulless that person uh, you need to confide in he's the one that you can really confide in and just you know just just uh let him let him carry your burden for you so just spend time with god talk to god and you'll feel yourself getting freer you know you'll feel your mind getting clearer you feel just you know like your weight has been lifted and your burden is less then the other point is to meditate so I think it's been a while since I did that myself, but I'm planning to do that. So just meditate, take your time, just remove, you know, empty out your thoughts, uh, sit still, sit in your, by yourself in a room, just meditate and just think, you know, good things, positive thoughts, just focus, you know, like just focus on just nothing, you know, just empty out your mind, make it, um, don't overthink, just take your time to meditate if you can find even if it's 30 minutes because i know how hectic life can be and uh it's it's really hard to get time for yourself but if you can manage to get like 30 minutes or even one hour meditate and just feel yourself you know feeling lighter feel yourself just loosening up and uh, not feeling so uptight you know so meditate and then the other point is get plenty of rest like it cannot be emphasized on how rest is important if you can be able to get a nap even like even if it's during the day if you can get a nap like even if it's one hour 30 minutes like that if you can be able to nap or just if you if you if at night you can be able to get eight hours of sleep then that will be the best i know for us moms it's kind of hard sometimes because even my baby normally wakes up at night i have to feed her a lot at night you know sometimes she wakes up a lot so i have to wake up you know it's, so it's interrupted but always make sure like if i've not gotten enough sleep i'll be sure that i catch up maybe sometime during the day if i can be able to get a nap then i I just do that if you get a nap then you'll find yourself just at peace you'll find yourself relaxed you'll find yourself at ease you know once you get you know good rest you have plenty of rest and just let everything go like put your your phone off the tv off like just focus on just getting that rest and you find yourself feeling much better and then the other point is just put on some feel good music you know just um put on some good music that makes you feel good like makes you feel like dancing makes you feel lovely inside like just you know that that will bring out the positive energy in you you know just put on some relaxing music you know some people love jazz some people you know everyone has their own um genre that they love so just put music that will just soothe you that will resonate with your soul that will make you happy make you want to dance just feel alive you know just make you feel alive so that is one sure way of just being able to clear out your mind then you can also dis declutter your space i know <laughs> i know yeah how sometimes it can be hard maybe you have a busy schedule so you find it had to be able to declutter your space but if you can be able to find time and just declutter your space make it you know comfortable just be able to clean up and just take away all the stress you feel better actually when you have a clean space you feel your mind clear is your mind becomes clear and that's why you find i don't know for some reason you find so many people who if you've been able to notice like some people who are depressed they normally have like um, anti-deep places so it's like what is in your mind is what will be you know in your surroundings so if you can be able to just declutter your space clean up your space then you'll be able to feel much better inside and feel you'll feel more positive you'll feel more you know alive you'll feel like you can take on more projects like that like yeah 
So the other point is also to take a walk. If you can take a walk around your neighborhood, uh, you can decide to take a, a walk along your neighborhood. If you can, um, and if you can go to the gym, why not? If you have the money, if you can be able to afford a good gym, then why not? So just go to the gym, you know, walk, take a walk, even if it's around your neighborhood. If, if you if you can like the longer the walk, the better. But if you can just take a you can start off with just a few minutes, then you, you can continue to go longer and longer like that, like that, like that. So you can be able to take a walk. That will really help you to just remove all those thoughts in your mind, just help you to just relax and just feel better about yourself. And it's also a good way of exercise, you know. It's a cheaper way of exercise as well. So, yeah. So the other point is also to make a nice meal. If you can be able to cook a well, a, a lovely meal that you love, maybe you love chicken, maybe you love, I don't know what you love. So you can be able to just make that food and just feel good about yourself. Then the other point is to talk to a loved one. So make sure you're able to talk to someone who tr you trust and you feel like you're, you're secure. You can be able to just tell them maybe maybe there's something that's stressing you up so you can be able to confide in, that, in, confide in that person and be able to just share what you're going through. That will help, you know. They say a problem once shared is a problem half solved. So you'll feel much better once you be, you're able to share with that person and just, you know, just feel like, you know, like... You just lifted off some weight off your back, you know. Then take a long bath if you can be able to take a long bath, especially if you have like those, you know, uh, what are they called? Bathtubs. If you have that, like if you can be able to take a bath, it's so relaxing. You can put, you know, whatever you, you like, you know, those bath shampoos, whatever, bath, uh, whatever <laughs> liquid. You can be able to just enjoy that long bath. If you can take a shower, then, you know, just feel good about yourself once you take a long bath. Then the other point is you can journal, you can write down what you're feeling. Once you write down, I feel like it's it's a way of distressing. Once you write down things that you, you're experiencing in your life, then you'll feel like it's like somehow you're able to relieve yourself. It's, kind, it's like some kind of therapy. So if you can journal, just write down everything that you, you're going through. Even if it's like today I woke up, today I went to the shop, like, you know, just whatever that is happening in your life will feel much better then the other point is eat healthy and drinks lots of water so when you're healthy you also have a healthy mind when you eat healthy you just find yourself being healthy when you eat your veggies when you eat your fruits when you drink your water you just find yourself feeling more energized you're feeling more positive about life and you'll find yourself achieving more because you're healthier then travel to a scenic place so if you can be able to travel, I know the wait times are hard, but you know, there's so many places you can go to. You can even go to Huru Park, as I've said before, like Huru Park is not so, I think it's not so expensive. Like just you find places that you can go to, even if it's Nairobi Safari Walk. We have a, in Kenya, we're blessed to have a national park inside the city. So it's amazing if you can be able to go and just look at the animals, just walk around there, you know, it feels so good because of the trees and all that. So you can be able to take, um, to go to a scenic place it will really help you clear your mind then watch a movie that will make you laugh you can watch a comic a comical movie okay so for me i usually love i don't know why i love thrillers psychological thrillers i'm <laughs> i'm trying to change that so if you can be able to just watch a comical movie a comedy you know you can be able to which, which will make you laugh then that will be able to just do you a lot of good and just help you clear your mind then you can also fast from social media yeah so if you can be able to fast like i know social media has a lot like you open social media you feel like there's a lot you know you need to buy this you need to get this you need to wear this you need to do this you need to wear you need to go here yeah, it's a lot it's a lot like social media has a lot of messages and you can feel overwhelmed at the end of the day so if you can be able to fast from social media maybe just take a break even if it's one day even if it's a few hours and then now go back to it will feel much better so yeah those are the points that i wanted to share with you today so thank you so much for watching this is your girl ever religion as usual keep it here keep it real keep it moving bye until next time